This is Gene Key, KDDD Texas News. The Associated Press reports George Rivas already was settled with 17 life prison terms when he told a Dallas jury he deserved death for organizing the largest ever jailbreak from a Texas prison and then killing a suburban Dallas police officer. Prosecutors urge jurors to not be manipulated by the leader of the notorious Texas 7 gang of fugitives. Jurors decided he should die. And now the 41-year-old Rivas is set for lethal injection this evening in Huntsville. Attorneys say his appeals are exhausted. The Texas Board of Pardons and Paroles has rejected a clemency request. And Rivas acknowledges he's ready to die for fatally shooting Irving Police Officer Aubrey Hawkins 11 years ago. From LoneStarTexasNews.com, a Bear County juvenile judge has ordered a 15-year-old boy accused of stabbing his mother's boyfriend to death to be held in a juvenile detention center. The jury Monday ordered the teen held until a hearing March 8th. The teen faces a murder charge in connection with the death of the 35-year-old man. The boyfriend died Saturday after being stabbed at the home where he lived with his girlfriend and her children. The San Antonio Express News reports that police say that before the stabbing, the mother and her boyfriend had argued. Two other children, ages 10 and 7, were at home at the time. A Child Protective Services spokeswoman says they have been placed in the care of relatives and the agency is now investigating the family. LoneStarTexasNews.com reports a Texas school district is trying to close its digital divide by distributing thousands of Apple iPads in a move that could make it the largest tablet computer program for students in the nation. McAllen Independent School District began distributing 6,800 devices this week, mostly iPads, but also hundreds of iPod Touch devices for its younger students. By this time next year, the district says every one of its more than 25,000 students in grades K through 12 will receive an iPad or iPod Touch. The district believes it's the largest to try for complete coverage. Apple would not confirm that, but other districts, the company noted, as having made large investments, have not made ones as big as McAllen's. The investment is costing the district more than $20 million. If you like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDDD Texas News.